It's Thirsty Thursday, so we're looking at a new e-liquid. Hello, my lovely vapies. Welcome back. Today's video is on which city vapors e-liquid. So I got sent four flavors by Witch City Vapors. The four flavors I have here are Dark Moon, The Reaper, Hocus Pocus. Anybody see that movie? Of course you've seen that movie. That's my favorite Halloween movie. One of them. And Charmed. Now I couldn't find a PG-VG ratio for these e-liquids, but according to some other reviews that I watched, it's a max VG e-liquid, which is bueno in my opinion they are available in 0 3 6 12 18 and 24 milligrams these are three milligrams which is my personal vaping preference they sent me their business card you can contact them through all of that or follow them on facebook or instagram and they also sent me a flavor menu which i love so those are oh they only have three of the flavors here on their flavor menu but we'll go ahead and read them anyways Hocus Pocus is a magnificent mix of malicious mango, potent pineapple, perilous peach, and cursed creams. Ooh, that sounds good. This magical mixture will satisfy even the most vicious vapor's appetite. Charmed is dangerously delicious with a smooth cereal base and nuances of marshmallow. Some may recognize this flavor. I don't know what cereal that is. And Dark Moon says, just like the Equinox balances night and day, this vape balances a rich cream flavor with a mouthwatering chocolate. Ooh, yes. Tastes just like hot chocolate. Ooh, I'm excited for that one too. And the fourth one that I got, which is the Reaper, was not actually on their flavor menu. Ooh, but it smells super, super citrus. It smells like lemonade. It smells citrusy like lemonade. So let me show you their label art. It's similar for all the flavors, just like the colors change. These are blue glass bottles, 30 milliliters with a childproof dripper top. And I'll go ahead and try the Reaper first since that was the one that was not on the flavor menu. It must be like a newer flavor. And so we don't know exactly what it is, but I can assure you this smells like a yummy lemonade flavor. We shall see, shan't we? Yeah, I'm getting lemonade. Maybe strawberry, like strawberry lemonade. It's not half bad. It's definitely more of a subtle lemonade vape if it is and the strawberry is pretty sweet and syrupy I like it though and like we said without knowing exactly what it is I'm going to say it's like some sort of strawberry lemonade mixture and it's delicious next we're going to try hocus pocus which is mango pineapple peaches and cream and that sounds so good Ooh, oh yeah Oh, I'm actually smelling everything. Usually like a pineapple mango mix, pineapple will really sort of, you know, outdo all the other flavors, but I can smell the cream, I can smell the peach, I can smell the mango, and of course I can smell the pineapple. All right, here we go with Hocus Pocus. Who's your favorite witch? Okay, so. One more time, but I think I know what I'm gonna say. Yep, okay, so pineapple, I knew it was gonna be the forefront. Pineapple is really a strong flavor, so pineapple's the forefront. Then we have peach and mango kind of on the same level, but if I had to pick one to be over the other, it'd be a little bit more of a peachy sweet flavor with the mango coming in third and the cream kind of just blending those two last ones together mixed with the pineapple. It's really delicious. It's kind of like, almost like um what you'd expect to drink like at a party like a fruit punch bowl that's not spiked and i actually really am enjoying this flavor i would have liked to see mango come out a little bit more only because i personally like mango but i can taste the individual flavors just like i said pineapple is definitely the first and foremost flavor and the you the cream you can definitely tell there's cream because if there wasn't that cream i feel like the pineapple and the mango would be a little bit more bitter but the cream really smooths it out for like a nice yummy, like if you had a punch bowl with ice cream in it, like have you ever had that before? Like um, rainbow sherbet punch and yes, that's actually what we just had at my cousin's baby shower. So it's reminding me of like a creamy, ice creamy, drinky soda 
fake. You know, on that vape, the mango almost came out on top of the peach, and the pineapple's just like throughout the whole vape, but you're getting like the mango peach at the end with the cream through all the way through as well. I could definitely see myself finishing this bottle though. I really do enjoy tropical fruity vapes and this adds like a sweet twist to it with the cream. Next we are going to try Charmed and I didn't even realize this at first. Of course I got it from the description that it's supposed to be like a Lucky Charm cereal, but I didn't get it from the name Charmed, Lucky Charms, doo -doo -doo. like come on Tia. Let's smell it. Oh, oh my god. This smells more like um, Rice Krispie Treats. I've had Lucky Charm cereal vapes now, and so I kind of have something to go off of on like what it's supposed to taste like or like it, which one I like better, this one or that one, because I really did like the Lucky Charms flavor from You Got E Juice, but this smells sweeter and tastier. This is like marshmallow gooey heaven. That's what it smells like. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. So this is supposed to be like Lucky Charms. They have those little plain crunchy cereal parts and the marshmallows. I'm getting so much marshmallow from it. I'm not hating it. I'm loving it because I love the sweet marshmallow. But I'm getting more of like... If you made the Lucky Charm cereal into a Rice Krispie treat, or into, you know, because I'm not, it's not Rice Krispie. Rice Krispies are actually pretty plain, like the cereal Rice Krispies are pretty plain, but this is like a sweet, like you just took the cereal and then you added marshmallow fluff to make Lucky Charms Rice Krispie bars, and it's fucking delicious. It's so sweet. Oh my god, this is now my favorite <laughs> so far. Oh my god. When you first exhale, you're getting most of that cereal base, most of that um, plain crunchy cereal flavor, but then as you complete the exhale, it's just like marshmallow goo. It's so good. Oh my god. I hate to say this because I don't like saying it. Like I can think it in my head, but this, because I tried the Lucky Charms review, got E Juice, and I really, really liked it. This is even better though, like because of the marshmallow intense, sweet, sugary gooeyness. It's gooey. It tastes like it'd be gooey. Oh yeah. I'm getting down on this bottle. And the last one we are going to try is Dark Moon and this is a creamy chocolate flavor. And I'm always well, not apprehensive, but I'm always just like <sighs> about trying chocolate flavors because I have yet to find a delicious like to die for chocolate vape. Like you guys know if you watch this channel, I've never really obsessed over a chocolate vape before. Smells like cocoa, smells like dark chocolate. Most of the chocolate vapes that I've ever had, no matter what kind of chocolate they're supposed to be, unless it's like white chocolate, um, tastes like dark chocolate to me. And while I do like dark chocolate in real life, like especially like those dark chocolate covered pomegranates or dark chocolate covered almonds, it's not a vape that I particularly like because you get more cocoa in it and cocoa powderiness and that's just like kind of bitter. But here we go. It has the cream in it, so I'm really hoping like this is like a good chocolatey It's not bad. Like I said, it's not... I'm getting like, almost like coffee chocolate. This almost tastes like the very first mocha chocolate flavor I ever had from Virgin Vapor. It is kind of like a hot cocoa. I'm not getting like hot cocoa marshmallow, which is what I would expect with like the cream part would be like the marshmallow. It's definitely chocolate. So if you like chocolate, you might like this vape, but I just, I just don't fall in love with chocolate vapes. I never have. But yes, it does taste like chocolate. It's not giving me that warm, hot chocolatey sensation. It's more of like a, a cocoa, cocoa powder, but not that bitter because the cream, I feel like if there wasn't the cream mix within the sea liquid, it'd be pretty bitter chocolate flavor, but not disgusting. So overall, I'm really liking these flavors and I will put a link below where you can check them out for yourself. If you've tried Witch City Vapors for yourself, let me know down in the comments below what you thought. Because taste is subjective and it varies person to person. I'd love to hear from you guys. But that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more reviews. Check the description box below to find my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can
can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. I also have a second YouTube channel where I like to upload completely random videos of whatever I feel like. So if you want to see more of me that's not vaping related, you can check out that channel. All those links will be below. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching. You know, they get a really good, like, A for effort for chocolate flavor. I'm just super picky on chocolate flavors, and like I said, I've never fallen in love with one yet.